Kay and Kevin, thank you so much. And Kay, I'm going to start with you. What is your Build a Gen AI app initiative? So, Shauna, here's the thing. Um, I do a fair amount of work and keynotes with customers all around data and AI. And the thing that I found, um, I would, you know, I was, I was in Atlanta um, and I asked, how many of you have ever built a Gen AI app from scratch? Mm. Anybody? No? <laughs> no? And, you know, there was one smart aleck who, who raised his, his hand. But the thing that, that I found is people don't know how to actually build this and make this work for the enterprise. As a matter of fact, there was an MIT article that came out that said 95% of enterprises are getting zero benefit from AI. There's only this 5%, right? The cream of the cup, crop that are getting real value. So Kevin and I were talking and we do this a little, little, little bit. And I was like, what if we showed them how to build an application using Gen AI from scratch, from start to finish? And Kevin is really the mastermind for it. So Kevin, I'm going to steal your thunder. Tell them about it. Yeah. So what we did actually, we used Live Labs, which is our hands-on test track platform for innovation. Um, and there's no slides. And Kay, you know how I like slides a lot. I know. And in this case, there are no slides whatsoever. It's no theory. It's just real engines and real workloads. So in our app that we build, actually, you select your industry, you start the demo, and immediately you see how Oracle AI database drives powerful AI forward. That's incredible. And I like slides too. So that's okay to like slides. Um, well, thank you for that. And thank you for adding on. It's okay. How does the Oracle AI database handle messy operational data without moving the data? So the thing about AI is AI needs data. There's no AI without it. Mm. Um, and when I meet with customers, I'm talking to CTOs, I'm talking to CIOs, the thing I say, I'm like, I bet you don't know where all of your data is. You don't know what state it's in. Semi-structured? Structured. Raw? Excel files. The world's, you know, way most <laughs> buffalo's eight. Anyway, um, and the... The thing about the Oracle AI database first, it is a AI native database. Mm. The idea here is we are bringing AI to the data. So if you're an enterprise out there and you're watching and you're like, okay, I've got data, it's all over the place. How do I start wrangling all of this data to figure out what my data center, center of gravity actually is? The Oracle AI database is the only database that is positioned for any data type, any vector, mm -hmm. JSON. Mm -hmm. What about graph, Kevin? Also in there. Graph, yes. spatial? Yes, absolutely. I, right. Any workload? Um, analytics? Sure. That too? Absolutely. Blockchain? Uh, 100%. Internet of Things? Yes. It can do all. I love this relationship. I do. You should hear our, you should hear our calls in the morning. Um, and... And, and the whole idea is AI needs to get access to the data. Why not choose an AI database that can give you that access with ease, security, and performance? That is great. You know, when you say about, you know, companies not knowing where all their data is, I mean, Ezra, it's so interesting, too, because as an individual, I don't know where all my data is. And that's a conversation for another day. <laughs> yes, it is. And then when we're done, you know what we could do? We could vectorize all that data and have you answer, ask oh. questions of it in natural language. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. Are we I geeking out this. too much, Kevin? No, that's perfectly good for us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. Hey, Kevin says it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. So, okay. Kevin, this is to you. There's all this talk about AI vector search and how it's a fundamental data type for AI apps. Mm -hmm. So, can you show us how this works in an app? Absolutely. Let me show you. So, with AI vector search, the database understands the meaning of the data and not necessarily only the keywords. We start with a customer selecting a customer who's applying for a loan, and then the system instantly and automatically starts analyzing the customer profile using AI vector search and OCI generative AI services to uh, recommend the most suitable loan for this customer. Wow, thank you for sharing more of that. And, and, and the significance of AI vector search, because one of the things that I, I um, uh, tell customers is vectors are not new. Vector databases are also not mm. new. The thing about vector and this whole concept of searching the data for meaning and not just saying where country equals X is the large language model 
the, the AI, yeah. it needs to understand meaning if you're to um, talk to it with natural language. Thank you so much for sharing sharing that. And that that's, you know, really insightful to hear more about that. And so, Kay, I want you to go on because developers want choice with copy. So explain, connect the dots for me from what we're talking about to this topic and tell me how the app works with all this data without copying data. Mm -hmm. So I mentioned earlier about this whole data center of gravity. Yes. One of the things that Juan talked about in his keynote was the autonomous AI lake house. Mm -hmm. And that is actually a data center of gravity. Mm -hmm. Our app is running on autonomous, on the autonomous AI lake house. And the idea is we don't care where the data is. And if I'm a developer and I'm trying to build an application, I don't want to have to futz around, okay, I've got some data, I've got it maybe in Databricks, and I've got data that's in the Oracle database, and I've right. got data that's in iceberg tables or in flat files. Wanna I want to just be able to issue my command, issue a query, and then get the results back, sure. right? And so the thing we hear from developers is we want choice. We want flexibility in our architecture. I like to think of the Oracle AI database. Kevin's going to, he's going to grow when I say this. It's like our love letter for developers. You yes, say? absolutely. It's a yeah. love letter. Yeah. You would just yeah. love it. I actually <laughs> my love for this. But I love what you're saying. You do want it all right there. And, you know, I, I think it's so interesting because we're at a time where everything is moving so fast now. And it's it really is. amazing to see it all can be there. Yeah. And so in your app, you do a lot with connections, people accounts, you know, more. And so, Kevin, can you explain how property graphs yes. in the Oracle AI database yes. find hidden relationships in the data and how that changes the decision on screen? Yes. So with property graphs, which is a new feature in the Oracle AI database, we're actually now able to kind of like see data almost as a living network. So you have like points that represent the facts and you have like links that represent okay. relationships. And then instead of like scattered data, you basically have all these things like immediately represented to you. So you have customers that go to um, requests, you have uh, policies that go to risks, you have actions to outcomes. So with all of this, you can really represent the lives um, of a living network almost, if you will. It's like the data's telling a story. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That's a great way to pay it. That's As a matter fantastic. of fact, actually, I think we talked about this. Like it's almost like you put like a navigational system into your uh, database because now with with graph you can actually show some directions of where your data moves, and it's not just oh this is where my data is. You show something. Mm, so the, I like the data is creating the story. Yes, data is the data tells the, the story. data tells the story, and what AI does is AI unlocks those insights so the data can tell the story. That's great. Okay, so Kay, where can people watching this go and if they want to try this? I mean, what where can they go and see more? So Kevin talked about Live Labs earlier. Um, there might be someone who's sitting here who is the creator and founder of Live Labs. Was that you, Shauna? I, I don't know that that's me, guys. Mm -hmm. No, I, is, it, is it you? Are you? Kay? It is. Okay. So, um, livelabs.oracle.com. I think we're at 15 million views. Oh, oh, oh. We're almost at 18. 18 million views. Oh, good. Um, that is the place to try this out. Now, right. let's talk about what that means. Go to livelabs.oracle.com slash surprise. And so, listeners, viewers, if you're watching, we want you to enter that into your browser. And we want you to try the Gen AI app for yourself. Now, the thing is, Shauna, I'm going to do um, it. You, you asked I'm going to do shit. The first time that we we rolled it out, I was just like, am I, am I amazing? Did I just build a Gen AI app? And then we do you one, one better. We give you the code, the stubbed out code, so that we want our, our um, viewers to be able to actually take this Gen AI app and then apply it on their data. So the idea here is it doesn't matter what industry, retail, I'm gonna forget them, retail, energy and utilities, financial services, healthcare. Care. There is a 11. story. In there, are there 11? 11. Kevin. We, we, we want to rent, but then <laughs> he needs a rent. We went for 11. Yeah, yeah. So we'll talk about that later. Yeah, we'll have to talk about that later. It's on camera. But, but the idea here is is no matter the industry, if you go to this URL, livelabs.oracle.com slash surprise, we have provisioned 
200 environments running on our cloud for you to get started right now. Well, I am going to go out there absolutely and do that because this has been amazing and it's been insightful. Thank you for this information. I love this idea. Data's telling the story. Um, and just, I, I really like being with both of you. So thank you. Thank, thank you, Kevin and Kay. Thank you. thank you for having us. Thank you.